Hello, my name is Demet Tunç. It is a pleasure to welcome you to this edition of Off the Shelf Book Series, a book discussion brought to you by the Conference Board. Today, I am together with Olivia Onkena Toft, the author of The Book of Noble Purpose. In a moment, we will discuss about Olivia's book and the essence and meaning of noble purpose. Olivier's hope is that during the next two decades, we will evolve into a world in which the cities, regions, countries will all base their activities on a universal noble purpose, which according to him is not a goal, but a philosophy of life. Olivier, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Welcome. The pleasure is mine. Hello. Uh, Olivier, you start your book with an impactful life experience you had at the age of 27. You were kidnapped in Colombia and you were left in between the thin line of life and death. In the end, you've survived, but this experience has led you to think about the essence of life. I know that your passion is to inspire people with the power, impact, and beauty of purpose. I must say that you achieve a big part of this mission, of your mission and your passion with the messages you give in your book. So why did you write this book? Well, I wrote it because I thought it was the time of my... um... The right time in my life to um, to put all my ideas uh, together and share that with um, uh, the people uh, who wanted to read or who want to read it. Um, I actually also wanted to um, do a dedication to life, um, which I think is 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 really very important for me. Um, and I do believe that we are on uh, in an important time. Uh, in in history, human history, where we are really going into some major paradigm shifts. And I do believe that uh, part of that paradigm shift will be to be connected with something that is um, transcendental, which is that famous noble purpose that I talk about, something which is really essential for, for everybody, for every human being, for society, for the economy. And I wanted to share my ideas and and inspire people and, and actually also trigger uh, thinking and, 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 and thoughts about it um, as much as I can. Well, you dedicate this book to the beauty of life. Yes. Um, who should read this book? To whom is it written for? <laughs> well, I would say to everybody who is um, uh, in one or another way connected with life or who is... Um, caring for life or anybody who who thinks life is important Um, and to to make it um, less philosophical maybe it's actually really written for anybody who feels that they are um, looking for more meaning in their life um, who would like to understand how to give meaning uh, to others uh, so that is it's also for 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 leaders Um, It's also written for politicians. It's written for people who impact societies um, because everybody can benefit from a noble purpose. Um, Maybe the the main focus is for people who are wondering what is the importance of life and why they want to get up in the morning and how they can inspire other people. Okay. Well, in today's world, everybody is talking about purpose from politicians to business leaders. Uh, The word purpose is becoming the word to use as Mm -hmm. it sounds the right thing to do. And um, in your book, you talk a lot about the relevance, importance of noble purpose and um, the approach that from the human and economic perspective, uh, it seems quite complex, but still very relevant Um, so this is more than just a marketing commercial gimmick that sounds good i believe Um, so can i please elaborate a bit more on that what is the noble purpose and why is it the word to use yes um i I think this is an essential question it's about the, the the relevance of um why we as human beings do what we do why we as organizations do what we do, why we as teams, as as projects, as as NGOs, 
um, as political leaders, um, as investors, as entrepreneurs, why do we do what we do? Is it to be at service of uh, something bigger than ourselves or is it to really uh, enrich ourselves or is it to um, just do things for ourselves? So noble purpose is something which is an aspirational reason for being, um, which I believe is grounded in our humanity and, and inspires ourselves and others to um, a sustainable call for action, a long-term call for action to be at service. Um, and in that, it is very different from an objective. Um, people actually confuse noble purpose with objective or noble purpose with mission. And when you speak about, everybody seems to be speaking about it, it, it is true, from, from the World Economic Forum to the Round Table to um, even the headhunters start speaking about the importance of uh, noble purpose in the way how they will recruit people. Um, we see it in, in, in many enterprises that start promoting uh, noble purpose. They connect their uh, services and, and products, um, so called all because you know they want to serve something. Um, and I, I think it's it's very dangerous that. Uh, we will miss out on the essence of noble purpose when people maybe do it for marketing reasons or, as you said, commercial reasons or for um, pure PR or uh, opportunistic reasons. That is not the kind of uh, noble purpose I'm talking about. To, to, to make a, a blunt comparison, uh, Adolf Hitler, he had a purpose, but we can definitely not say that he had a noble purpose. His purpose was something of short-term realization of an idealistic ID. But when you have to kill millions of people and discriminate even more millions of people and install pervert systems, you cannot call that a noble purpose. Taking that to the economic world, when an organization is promoting um, a way of uh, doing or products or a way of consuming that is very negative for the impact it has on us human beings or on nature, the ecology, or on the way how um, certain minorities are being disrespected. For example, when you um, make um, uh, uh, garments, uh, you're in the... In the fashion industry and and you produce things which had a huge negative impact on uh, the ecology and on the way how uh, people uh, children are being mistreated um, can we say that that is a noble purpose of course it is not when you are in um, the um, production of cigarettes or in a production of arms and the only reason is to make the cigarette industry more uh, financially powerful or the arms industry more powerful, financially powerful, with all the destruction that it creates, I don't think that you can say that that is a noble purpose. So when we speak about noble purpose, we have to really get it straight. It is something that is at service of others to solve human, social, political, ecological, economic problems. Um, and it surpasses the short-term thinking that has been very much ingrained in our economy and in the way how we have been uh, behaving until a lot of uh, crises started popping up and until obviously we had the financial crisis, we had the terrorist crisis, we had the crisis now uh, with, uh, with the, uh, COVID. It is all bringing us to a different consciousness and I believe that that consciousness is um, going to push us to really rethink the way how we do business, the way how we lead, the way how we do politics, the way how we produce, the way how we consume. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to take a short break for some quick announcements and we will be back in just a minute to continue this interesting discussion on the Book of Noble Purpose written by Olivier Onkena. Looking for additional business insights in this subject area and beyond this podcast? Go to tcb.org and explore our Human Capital Center. Uncover a large array of products hosted by the Conference Board in focus areas like diversity and inclusion, talent management and many others. Products include peer-to-peer -peer networking events, expert briefings, publications, 
data and analysis, webcasts, videos and blogs. Hello, welcome back to our conversation with Olivier Onkena Toft on the Book of Noble Purpose. Olivier, in your book, you share several occasions about your humanistic and positive view of humankind and life, mm -hmm. which is very inspiring. Mm -hmm. However, um, it might be seen as quite naive by some people. Do you believe that uh, the human race is caring enough and is po positive about itself? Um, well, if you look at the human race... Um, what we have been able to achieve is, is, is simply incredible. Um, from a scientific perspective, from um, a health perspective, from uh, uh, an industrial perspective, from an economic perspective, um, we have been uh, able to produce uh, things that uh, were never uh, produced before. We have been able to um, uh, prolong the, the, the quality of, of, of our life. We have been able to uh, rethink education. We have been able to um, disclose uh, parts of the world that were totally uh, uh, closed. So the, the progress we have uh, as a human race uh, that we have known is, or that, and that we know is just incredible. At the same time, with that economic progress, with that wealth progress, we also see a certain, um, uh, deep, how could I say it, a certain um, disrespect for our own evolution. And we start becoming um, so um, concentrated on the short term that we sometimes tend to forget that we as a human race, when we are going into that short term thinking, that we are going to actually cut off the branch on which we as human race were sitting ourselves. And we see that with what is happening in, in nature, for example, in, in the climate, in, 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 in ecology. But we also see that in the social uh, inequality. We also see that in s still very important uh, forms of racism that are uh, present. We see that in the way how there is a big um, disruption in the way how um, you have people who have access to a lot and people who have access to almost nothing. We see that in um, um, a massive uh, part of the population that even today is living in, in poverty that is not being covered in, in the basic needs. And at the other end, we have people who, uh, who have um, uh, an abundance of foods so they, um, uh, they, they can even become um, uh, obese. We have parts of, of, of the world that have everything and we have parts of the world that do not have everything. So there is a huge um, uh, discrepancy. Yeah, discrepancy, exactly. A huge discrepancy in these things. And at the same time, I do believe that when we as human uh, beings, we become more conscious of what is important and essential, that we will be able to solve that. And I do see that even if in a certain way, we're going to some, through some rough times, there is that um, desire to solve the things that seemed to be unsolvable until recently. And a crisis like the, the COVID, I think, has been beneficial in a certain way because we have been uh, digitalizing, we have been progressing, we have been inventing, we have been... Um, and I'm not only talking about the, 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 the vaccines, but I'm talking about so many other things, the way how we work, the way how we organize, the way how we produce, the way how we consume, the way how we um, uh, um, uh, look at work. So many things have happened in, in a very small amount of, uh, of months that I do believe that we as a human race, we, um, we can solve our own problems um, as long as there is consciousness. And for me, the way to do that is by connecting to this collective noble purpose. What is it that we as human beings, we, uh, we want to stand for? So that requires that we are more collective. That requires that we are more connected with each other and not separated from each other. Well, 
coming back to the uh, COVID pandemic, especially mm-hmm. in the confusing times yes. of uh, the global pandemic, when people are trying to survive mm-hmm. with too much uncertainty of what is ahead, yes. do you believe that people are in need of noble purpose? I do believe that, yes. yes. Uh, it's very interesting to see um, how, how um, many um, uh, magazines and, and, and papers and, and also how many researchers are revealing these um, uh, interesting um, uh, needs for, uh, for purpose because really people um, cannot quite much make a lot of what is happening. People are really confused about what is going on. And um, I, I think that the, 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 this notion of, of longer term meaning is really important. Um, so I do believe that people in, in the confusion that, are, that we're going through are really in need for um, noble purpose. And I do believe that it is also thanks to this crisis um, that people are really starting to ask um, yeah, this question of why the hell am I doing what I'm doing? Why am I in this kind of role or this kind of work or this kind of setup or this kind of relation or this kind of... Because this has been such a major transformation for all of us. This has had such a huge impact on the way how we live, the way how we are, that you cannot miss out on on that question in one or another way, in one or another moment um, of that noble purpose. Olivier, in your book, you vividly call upon all of us. Mm -hmm. Uh, You call on the leaders of this world. You say that noble purpose is a way of being and doing Mm -hmm. that is going to transform our economy, our society. Mm -hmm. You say that it will leave a legacy for those who take care of others, uh, who take care of the environment and who also care for the future of this world. Yes. Do you have any proof that we are going towards a positive direction? Do you have the proof that the world is changing in a positive manner? Yes, I do believe that. I do believe that we um, uh, we are progressing. I think we had in a certain way to go through a, through a dip um, the last couple of years and the last couple of decades. But I do believe that things are um, changing and I believe that they're changing quite uh, quite fast. I think we are... Um, in times of really interesting paradigm, uh, uh, paradigm shifts. Um, and it's on all levels. Um, there is more and more um, uh, consciousness about um, the, inaccept- uh, the unacceptable of, of, of discrimination, of, of uh, lack of education uh, for children in certain parts of the world, of um, discrimination in, um, as I said before, in, in, in financial wealth, in material wealth. More and more people are thinking that we, we should redivide uh, the things. But also the way how we look at um, ourselves, the way how we look at what, what is important. The new generation is very much uh, connected with uh, very different things than the generation uh, of 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 the baby boomers or or even the generation before where they had very different uh, ways of looking at things i think science is evolving i think um the economy is 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 rethinking um a lot um the way how we will do business um it is a long process this is not going to um, to, to 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 happen in 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 a couple of years i'm i'm, I'm more thinking of 10 to 15 years but i do believe that the let's say the, the the decades ahead are going to be to be positive and that is not necessarily only because of obviously noble purpose but it is because of all the sense we're making of what we're doing and how we're doing we're more and more talking about responsibility we're more and more talking about um uh, uh, the collective we are more and more talking about eradicating uh, racism uh, separation so i'm i'm personally very positive about the things uh, happening yes well thank you olivier for this inspiring book Um, as a business leader starting with the why uh, with a clear definition of the noble purpose of the company contributing to people's lives 
and uh, to the future of the world will definitely lead to a brighter and meaningful life. And I really like the way you're so optimistic about it. Thank you. You can um, purchase this book on Amazon, on ball.com, and also it is available on the website of Lanu Campus. If you have enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our off-the-shelf book discussion podcast series at the conference board website. Again, thank you, Olivier. I am uh, wondering when your next book is uh, due and whether if there is a next book and if there is one, what it's going to be about. <laughs> Uh, when I have no idea, but I have been thinking, um, we have been talking uh, about it, and uh, I would like to to write something um, around um, freedom and and choice, um, how we make ch- choices in our life, how we are connected with our freedom. What does it mean, freedom? I, I feel that that is something that I want to go into um, maybe as my next uh, as my next book. Yeah, I look forward to it. <laughs> Great news. <Thank you. laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Olivier, and hope to see you in the next episode with your new book. Thanks a lot. Bit. <laughs>